Yeah. Alright, hey guys, welcome back to Book Pardo. My name's Matt, and today we're doing a tailgate versus a blind door style door. Now, I've wanted to make this video for a while, and you'll be surprised at the differences of them. And in, in case you're at home and you're on the verge of buying either a 100 series or Prado or a Hilux or whatever, you might get a bit of ideas as to the benefits and disadvantages of these sort of doors. So, let's get straight into it. We're going to open these doors up and we'll have a comparison. Alrighty, so here we have them open now, you can already see obviously it's differences. For example, this one has overhead cover, right? And technically a seat if you want to sit down like this. But also, it doubles up as a table, as a workbench. Whereas over here, in terms of your seat, it's, it's not as big, you know, it's comfy, but you can sit here. And then you've also got no overhead cover either, obviously. So if you're getting rained on, um, the car's actually slowed like that at the back. So everything that is here will get rained on. Whereas here, majority of it should be under cover under here. So that's obviously some straight up differences at the start. But as you can see in my Prado, I've utilized the barn door as a table, which also if you have a double barn door, you can have a little table and you can have a slide out sink and all these extra things. Because on here, the main mod upgrade you can do is take this carpet off, cut this out, and you can get those custom door, uh, drawers that are in here. and has two push-up pins and it pops open you can put your like recovery gear in there and stuff so that's they're, they're very common on the 80 series Land Cruiser and you can do them in Hiluxes as well pretty much any tailgate car so that's another mod you can do for the doors now obviously with tailgate the table now is restricted by in here so you can't bang your like your shins on it or whatever if you're walking past or trying to do something whereas on the barn door because there's that's not in the way you'll you can hit on that just a thing to consider now Another thing to consider is when you're towing, I'm not sure you can see, but as you can see here, this shouldn't hit the towable that's there or anything, that's out of the way nicely. Now, the barn door's the same, but sometimes it's more of an issue of just actually opening the door in general, you'll smash it, whereas this, this seems to feel just nicely. Now, uh, obviously because this is open now, this is like another like 400 mil, which means I now can't reach as far into the back because obviously this is in the way. Now you're probably thinking, Matt, why don't you just do that? well you can but now I've got this height in the way and I've got to get over that I'm obviously I'm being dramatic but you but you get the idea if you're not if you can't reach very far it's very see that's just in the way the whole time um, which is fine but obviously that's just something to consider you're gonna reach extra far to get in there now we'll go to the barn door for comparison see as you can see barn door obviously there's no door in my way I can just grab anything and grab it out. Even if this whole system wasn't here, I could grab it at the back and grab it out because I'm not leaning over everything. But the table, if it was on, would be smashing my knees every single time. Now, a lot of things I'm saying in this video are just obvious, but I'm just running over them just so you get the idea of what the heck's going on. So, obviously in this scenario, the door's open outside. Now, pretty what does that mean? Well, if you're carrying something, I don't know, if your car port is laid out a certain way and you're trying to walk through that side, Obviously, you've got to walk around a door that's, you know, like 1.2 meters wide or whatever, or 1.5 meters wide, okay? Or if you had the little barn doors, then you're sort of fine. You can go both sides and it's the same issue. Like, so the 60 series Land Cruiser has two little doors, but I like the 80 series and the Patrol series 4. They actually open up further than just straight on. They actually keep going because the hinge is designed differently and it's really good. So the, the door won't stop here like this or actually keep going out, which allows you to get more access in the car. Um, and then ever since Leo, all the new cars, they just go straight out, which means when you're in here, it's actually quite squishy because you've got a door there and here, and it's quite hard to move in and out. So I'm just talking about accessibility to the rear, I guess is what I'm trying to say here. Now, another thing to think of, as you can see with this 100 series here, we've got the rear spare wheel on the back. Now, I'll click about there, that's annoying. Alrighty, there is a quick bar up there. We're going to film this to see how it goes. So as you can see, there's a rear wheel here on the back. Now, uh, with this 100 series. And now mine, as we know, is on the door itself. Now obviously this is great because it takes the weight off the actual door and the mechanism and puts it on a steel rear bar, which is properly mounted, which is great. Whereas mine, that actual 35 inch tire, the sheer weight of that is on the door and every time you open it, it's carrying a lot more weight than it should. So advantages of a rear bar, there you go, as well as protection. Now, um, so as you can see, it works very well on this up and you can get back to here and you can still open this and stuff and you can have one on each side and you're fine. Um, and obviously you're just going to walk around it as another thing. But if you have this on the other side as well, all of a sudden you've got 
like one, two, three, four things that are all blocking you from getting to your car. So, and it also, if you're on the side of the road, it depends. Like, do you want like, do you want to open the back door in like five seconds or do you open it up in like five minutes? Because there's a lot of hinges and stuff you're going to be working with. Now, there's a guy on Instagram. Uh, I'm not going to say his name because I'll butcher it. But he has a patrol and he's done something pretty clever. He's got series four and he's got the barn doors but he's also got a rear wheel carrier, so the door's not carrying the weight of the 37 inch tire. But he's got a little mechanism, so when he opens the door, it also opens this, and it's connected, and it's really like sneaky. So that's a way to get around it, if you will. Um, but yeah, so, and obviously with this one, like I said before, you got the overhead protection, and even if this was like a van, for example, obviously the van would go all the way up, and you double as like a little shade almost. But I was looking at some reviews and obviously like with a van, if you're parked up against a corner in a car park and you're like that far off the wall, you, you're pretty much not going to be able to use it at all. Whereas with these sort of cars, you can open up just a little bit. And obviously with the 100 series, let's say you didn't have the rear wheel carrier, there's a wall like here. You could probably just get some stuff in there, but you wouldn't get nearly as much as the bundles because it opens up sideways and you can actually get stuff in there. Now obviously, mechanisms are another thing you have to consider. So that tailgate is majority running, like it's got two gas struts to hold the actual thing up, and then it's just got two, um, which would be like steel wire covered in plastic to drop it down, which is fine. Whereas this Prado is just running off, no hydraulics, nothing like that, no pumps. So it's just a piece of metal that you move out and it locks in. Now, you can do little upgrades and put little hinges on them, that's great. But the longevity of the car, technically this system will be better than that system. And obviously these cars are almost 10 years apart anyways. And this is still working fine. So obviously, if you're looking for reliability and strength sort of thing, maybe better off with the barn door. Not only is it more practical, you can get stuff in straight away, and no matter how close you are to walls, but, it's not got gas struts that will potentially fail over the years, like these ones. All right guys, so mods on these sort of different tailgates. Now obviously with this one, you can get LED strips up here, you can get little music systems, you can run all your wires through here, and it's quite nice. You can have a camp light on there and it can shine directly on here. Now, um, this could be like, you put your little cooking uh, stove on there and your cooking board and you can just cook on here. Like it's literally a bench that just folds down, it's great. Um, and you can work on there with the light. So that's that's very good, it's very practical, that's great. Um, and you can also come in from the side light here and put stuff in, because obviously with the barn door, there's gonna be a door on the way and you can't really do that. But on this side as well, obviously you just have your lights up there, that's fine, not directly over you, but it's pretty good. Now obviously, we'll consider this to not be a table compared to this, because you can't, you wouldn't really want to cook on that sort of thing. But then you just get a table like that, or a drop down table with a sink in it. Whereas this, you can't do any of that. None, none of that's happening on this. If you look at all the Troopies and 76 series Land Cruisers, they've all got setups like that. They don't have this. So this is more of your you know, Hilux sort of style. The only storage you can do is inside there. So um, I just think it's interesting if you think about the mods capability, I think it actually goes to this because whether you've got one door like this or two doors, like a Holland Jackaroo or something, so now you can do mods in both doors and you can actually, people take out the door cards, cut in there and put shelves in there. So, whereas this, all you can do is the bottom one, the top one's just glass, you're not going to really be able to do anything with that. Uh, maybe like some, like a clothesline or something, I don't know. So, that's just, I think the mods actually go towards the, the barn door sort of style. So, whereas tailgate definitely has its place, I think. Because um, a lot of my mates have power gates and you can just camp in there so easily and it's really cool and obviously you can't really do it on a Prado unless you put some mods on it. Alright, so if I have to sum up the last 10 minutes of rambling in a minute and pick a winner if you will. Um, hopefully it's not too biased but I think I'd actually go for the barn door. Now, I've had that car for 3 years and I've loved every second of that door and I'm a carpenter for work and I've always had that open, putting tools in there and always using it every single day. And the only issue I'd probably have is you open it and you don't need to open it before and lock it, like you just need to quickly do something. So you open it and then the whole, normally there's a bit of a hill and the whole uh, 
door, it's not heavy, it's not hurting you, but it's leaning on you. So you open the door and it's leaning on you and you quickly get something and then, but then when you walk away, the door automatically closes because of the, the weight of the door and the heel. So that's fine, whereas if I had this set up in the same car, if I'm here and I've got like, need to get my nail gun or something, I just, I have to reach pretty far to grab it sort of thing. Um, but granted, if you have drawers, you just pull it and it'll come out nicely. So just, it's really difficult to choose actually, but I think I'm gonna go with that just because of the sheer amount of mods you can do on the actual door itself. Whereas this, um, you, you just can't really do that. So, um, and obviously, there's, I think there's, it's hard to say, but obviously all wagons ever have those sort of doors. So really you're comparing all your wagons to your Utes 800 series. <laughs> for this sort of tailgate, an 80 series. Um, but it's hard, but if I had to go for one, I'd go for the barn door. All right guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully that was in depth enough. Hopefully I've covered most of the grounds there. And hopefully um, you agree with me, or if you really think you have a good, strong opinion about that, let us know in the comments down below. I'd be very interested to hear about what you guys think, because I like this one. And I've also, I've, I've driven this car a lot before I bought this car, and I've, so I've used the tailgate a lot, and using that for a few years and this for a few years, I do think I actually prefer the, the barn door. So that's my opinion guys, that's just my, my yeah, what I think. Um, but if you're buying a car and you're thinking about which one you want to consider, um, up to you now. You can use that information to figure out yourself. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching guys, have a great rest of your day and we'll catch you guys next time, Built Prado. Cheers.